The Iceberg Thermal Icelit G4OC is part of the newest ACPU cooler series of Iceberg Thermal. This CPU cooler is available in a few variants, including an all black one called the Midnight. However, in this review, we have the OC Black and Teal variant. This CPU cooler has plenty of modern features to make a stand against the well established models that are already on the market. This includes a nickel plated base plate with nickel plated copper heat pipes, plus plenty of RGB on its fan. However, with the price of 45 US dollars, will these features be enough to make it a good choice? The iSpec Thermal Isolate G4OC is a great looking CPU cooler. The teal color is not for everyone, but even so, it will match with any motherboard you can get your hands on, as it's mostly black. In addition, this CPU cooler has a different design on its outer plastic shell, something that is meant to be different than what other manufacturers are doing at the moment. The highlight of this CPU cooler is its design, as I've said before, because it's different and that's it. However, the previous iSpec Thermal CPU coolers were also quite different and using a teal color which was striking. Is this one the same? The short answer is no. It is not. This model looks to be an improved CPU cooler, but we will get to see that in a later part of the review. The Iceleet G4OC uses a single 120mm fan for its active cooling, a fan which has a minimum speed of 600 rpm and a maximum speed of 1400 rpm, and unfortunately it cannot be stopped through PWM. The system used on this fan is a standard fluid dynamic bedding with a life expectancy of above 150,000 hours. Fortunately though, this fan has only a single cable with three connectors in total and everything related to it has been sleeved. Other features of this fan include the RGB LEDs which are installed inside the rotor of the impeller assembly and fortunately some thicker rubber pads on both sides of the fan frame. This will help dampen the vibrations of the fan while it's running and prevent the fan frame from scratching the surface of the heatsink. Speaking of the heatsink, the Iceleet G4OC has a single tower heatsink design. It has a height of just 156mm and a width of 149mm with a weight of 743 grams. The heatsink uses 46 aluminum-made cooling fins to dissipate the heat of the CPU. There is nothing special about these cooling fins, however they are well made and have an angular pattern on the back side of the heatsink. What this CPU cooler has and others do not or rarely do is a different mounting system for the fan. This is in fact a toolless design and it has some good points to it and a serious bad point. The fan is held on the heatsink by sliding up and down on these plastic rails which are attached to the heatsink. While this system makes removing and installing the fan convenient and easy, it also has one massive flaw. If one of these rails breaks, being made of plastic after all, what happens then is you are left with just a heatsink and no way to install the fan, unless you want to use a pair of rubber bands. In addition, this mounting system for the fan is advertised to be good for increasing the RAM clearance by essentially lifting the fan out of the way. This is a cheap way to solve an issue that shouldn't even exist on a CPU cooler within this price range. Moving on, the base plate of the CPU cooler is flat and made from nickel plated copper, while it looks great, it is still a direct touch heat pipe base plate, which means that the heat pipes of the CPU cooler are integrated into the surface of the base plate. This type of base plate is commonly found on cheaper CPU coolers and it is often regarded as inferior in terms of heat dissipation and transfer, as the heat pipes and the base plate have small uniform spaces in between them that will affect the cooling. The CPU cooler has four nickel plated copper heat pipes, each with an outer diameter of 6mm and these are arranged in the standard U shape to better transfer the heat to the cooling fins. Fortunately, while the endings of the heat pipes are not symmetrical at all, they are covered by the cooler's plastic cover up top. When we talk about the packaging accessories, it's good news, as the Iceleet G4OC is delivered in a good looking cardboard made box that somehow manages to look both classic and modern at the same time. The cooler and the accessories are packaged in a different cardboard box and have an inadequate amount of protection. The accessories consist of what you need to install the cooler and nothing else. You get a backplate, a user manual, two pairs of mounting bars, one for Intel and one for AMD, four thumb screws, four plastic spacers and two sets of double threaded screws and that's it. The cooler does not have included thermal compound, instead the thermal compound is pre-installed on the base plate. 
the installation system is simple and robust. You first get the backplate and adjust the blue sliders to fit your socket. Afterwards, you place it on the back side of the motherboard and then you place the plastic spacers on the front side of the motherboard. Afterwards, you install the mounting arms and secure them with the thermal screws. Finally, you apply the thermal compound on the CPU surface and place the heatsink over the mounting arms, lining up the mounting arms with the pre-installed speed-loaded screws on the heatsink. You tighten those up and you are done. What's left is installing the fan on the heatsink and connecting everything up to your motherboard. With the Isolate G4 installed, it's easy to see the appeal. The black and teal color combination is different and will match many motherboards and cases. In terms of clearance, between the graphics card and the sides of the heatsink, there are around 23mm of space, which is not that great if you want to access the top-mounted M.2 SSD socket. This space is enough though to allow for easy passage of the airflow around the graphics card and the heatsink. When we talk about the RAM clearance, the Isolate G4 OC will interfere with the first RAM slot of the motherboard. Fortunately, thanks to the sliding rails that are used on the fan, you can simply move the fan up a few millimeters and install the cooler over the RAM stick. It's unfortunate that a CPU cooler of this size has these issues as other CPU coolers, especially larger ones, do not have such issues. Before we test the cooling of the Isolate G4 OC, you will get to hear a sound sample of the included 120mm fan running at its lowest speed and then at its maximum rated speed. I am doing this because while a decibel value is useful for comparison, it does not consider other noise sources, such as the bearing of the fan or the fan vibrating on a heatsink. With a maximum speed of 1400 RPM, the Isolate G4 OC reached a maximum noise output of 40 decibels with the measuring device placed at a standard distance of 10 cm away from the CPU cooler and the testing system. For testing all CPU coolers, unless otherwise stated, an Intel i9-9900K CPU is used. This CPU is running at two settings, first at its regular turbo boost frequency and then manually overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores. The first test uses the Intel Burn Test V2 benchmark, a software which places a CPU load that is similar in severity with what you can get while playing a modern AAA video game. The ambient temperature is set at 26 degrees Celsius and the fan of the CPU cooler is running at its maximum rated speed. And in this test, the iSpec Thermal Isolate G4 OC reached a maximum temperature of 67 degrees Celsius with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores. However, with the CPU running at its factory turbo boost frequency and voltage, the Isolate G4 OC reached a maximum temperature of 58 degrees Celsius. Not bad at all. This results place the CPU cooler next to the Akasa Soho H4 and the Noctua NH-U9S. However, the next test is where each CPU cooler is pushed to its limits, some even beyond that, as this test uses the system stability test of the AIDA64 Extreme software. What makes this test so hard for the TC CPU coolers is that it places an unrealistically high load on the CPU, something which you will never encounter in your daily usage. In fact, the only CPU load that is close to this benchmark is heavy video rendering with the CPU as the only rendering unit. And in this test, the Isolate G4 OC reached a maximum temperature of 91 degrees Celsius, with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores and a temperature of 74 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at its factory frequency and voltage. This result places the Isolate G4 OC around the same level of performance as the Be Quiet Tarok 4 or the Akasa Soho H4. The Iceberg Thermal Isolate G4 OC is a good little CPU cooler that manages to offer a good performance even when paired with an overclocked i9-9900K CPU. While 91 degrees Celsius is a high number, the CPU did not reach its thermal throttling point, which is good for a CPU cooler of this size. However, this results tells us that the Isolate G4 OC is not made for overclocking high TDP CPUs, even though it will handle it barely. What the CPU cooler is good though is a gaming system, as it will handle a lot of mid to high end CPUs. This level of performance will come at a cost, the high noise output. At 40 decibels, this CPU cooler cannot be called silent, not even close to that, but it was to be expected as this CPU cooler has only a single 120mm fan. The build quality of this CPU cooler is great, on par with other manufacturers. Speaking of other manufacturers, what the Isolate 
G4OC has and other CPU cores do not is a simple and solid mounting system. It's easy to understand, has only a few components and it is made mostly out of metal with some plastic elements. This mounting system is only tested by the systems offered by Noctua or Be Quiet, to give two examples. The design of this CPU cooler is good, the black and teal color combination is different and will match your system. All this being said, there are some shortcomings with this cooler. First, the found mounting which makes sense on paper, but it's a clever solution for a problem that shouldn't even exist. At this price point, this CPU cooler should have had an offset design to increase the RAM clearance and not rely on you moving the fan up on the heatsink. The plastic mounting system for the fan also means that if you manage to break the plastic components, then it's game over for you and for the fan, and you must use rubber bands to keep a fan attached to the heatsink. Another shortcoming of the Isolit G4OC is the direct touch base plate, which looks good and is well made, but it will never be as good as a solid copper made base plate. That's why high end air CPU coolers use solid base plates and not the direct touch design. If you can move past these shortcomings, then the Isolit G4OC might be your cooler. It's good looking, well made, and performs good for its size. However, don't expect to be able to overclock with the CPU cooler. It can handle that much heat using just one fan and four heat pipes. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more. And if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below, you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.